Hey everyone, welcome to my pick a card reading. I Before we get started, I'd like to make an announcement. Thank you guys so much for helping me with reach 600 subscribers. Yes, we are at 600 subscribers. Well, actually 632, but I met, I met my milestone of 600. And to commemorate that, I'm going to be giving away a free reading. So if you're interested in getting a free reading, all you have to do is leave an orange heart an orange heart emoji in the comment section of this video an orange heart emoji i'm going to also put the heart the orange heart emoji in the um comment section um and i'm gonna put it in my description box so you guys won't be confused an orange heart emoji it should be an orange one okay so with that being said we're going to jump right into the video and the name of this pink card reading again is who has a crush on you so i'm going to put this cellulite on the first one i'm going to put um i don't know what this stone is anyone know what this is if you know what this is let me know i just always thought this was really cool i don't know it came inside when i uh when i finished telling my twin flame story and i tell you guys how i had to order like a box of crystals i'm a um and what I did with all those crystals, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can look it up and see what's in there. But I got it in that box I had used to go through my healing journey. And then I have a rose quartz right here. So I'm gonna give you a second to choose the pile for you, and then we're gonna get started. Okay. With that being said, I'm gonna get started. I just have a love frequency play in the background to help kind of help us out a little bit. Cannot wait to get in the shower. Okay, so if you chose power one, you chose a cellulite. So I'm gonna back these up a little bit. Who has a crush on you? Some of you guys. Heard it's Showtime. What does it I mean? It's Showtime. Showtime at a pala. Some people might like watching Showtime at a pala or like watching like talent shows. Somebody might be in a talent show or been in a talent show before. Somebody might have somebody's child may have a talent show coming up or had one coming up or it's something about a talent show. Something about a showgirl. It's something about that. You may have. Maybe this person's. Maybe you live in Vegas. Maybe you've been to Vegas. Maybe you like being in Vegas. But it's definitely something about a showgirl. Somebody is putting on a show. I, I just feel like somebody is, is, but this could be for a male. Like somebody is really putting on a show for you. I hear somebody saying like, I feel like the person has a crush on you. This is, I feel like I hear other people talking about this person who has a crush on you. And they're saying that this person is really putting on a show for you. So I guess that's some type of clue or something like that. The person could look like this, could have like... A dark, I feel like she doesn't have, she might not have gray hair, but she or he may have like darker features. Like they might be like a, a Mediterranean looking person or like maybe a deep, like a deep, like just one of those people that's like dark, dark hair, dark skin, like, you know, likes to wear dark clothes. Like I'm trying to find a good example. Y'all ever seen that, um, that, sh that movie, uh, 365? And it's like the guy kids not the girl, and he has a year to make her fall in love with him. But he's like a, a gangster or something, like an Italian gangster. Like, you know, he would have like really dark features or whatever, like that. The person definitely has like some dark features like that. The person is definitely putting on a show for you. They're trying to get you to notice them. Who has a crush on power one? So you definitely know this person. I think the situation has died though. I think, okay, so for some of you guys, this could be an ex or somebody. Okay, for some of you guys, it's an ex for just a small amount of you. For the rest of you guys, I feel like this is someone that you went on, like, maybe one or two dates max with. And then, like, now they're kind of, like, either trying to put on a show on, via social media. Maybe y'all work together or y'all go to, like, some type of place where y'all see each other or something like that. Like, they just always try to put on a show for you. Like, they dress their best. They always, like, being, like, loud and, like, trying to get your attention and stuff like that. But this relationship is dead with these scars here. It's like that. It's like this relationship is dead, but they're not seeing it. They're still trying to like. They're still trying to get you caught up in their web. Yeah, they're putting in so much work. It's just like they're putting in. They're trying. They're at, at, right now. They're like literally trying everything, and anything. <laughs> like literally everything, and anything to get your attention. But I don't think it's working. I don't think it's working. But they're constantly thinking about how to get your attention. But I don't think it's working. Oh, that's a question on power one. 
Yeah, they're really determined. This person might be a Leo. It's like they it's like they're chasing something that's not even there. Cause you see how this sun is like looking at this whatever this animal is. This, what is it? Minot minotaur or whatever. And a minotaur is chasing this happiness with butterfly, which could re represent you. And it's like butterflies represent the emotion that's coming from that butterfly. It's like, okay, so like, um, I don't like you. Like, that's how I feel. It's like, okay, I don't like you like that. But this person, I don't think this is the person you wanted to hear about. This is probably someone you don't like that likes you. And this is not the crush that you was expecting, but this is who has a crush on you. This is not how your crush feels about you. Yeah, definitely. They're really concentrated. They're going to pull out all the stops to get you. Like, their, their main focus is getting you. I don't think you like this person because I think this person maybe tries too hard. I think this person tries way too hard and it kind of annoys you a little bit because it's like, it's kind of like making you feel like maybe they're not worth a lot because they try so hard. Yeah, they keep trying to bring this situation up from the back from the dead. That's why I said, that's why I said, I feel like you dated this person before in the past, but it just didn't work out. But they don't want to accept that it's not working out. They don't want to accept that it's not working out for whatever reason. But it's definitely not working out. And it's like, yo, why do you keep trying to bring this situation up from the past? Yeah. This person probably has, like, long hair. They probably have, like, crazy type hair. I feel like this person is, like... Whoever they are, they like they're real extra. Like they're not a person that's just gonna wear like a sweat a sweatshirt and some jeans or something. Like they real extra. Like they gotta be done up. Either they like real glamorous done up or they like real hippie like done up. They do their hair in crazy ways and stuff like that. Like, but they don't really have no. It's like their their clothes is their personality. Cause with this um shaman and with the face being like so empty, it's like inside it's like nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, this person is so, like, showboaty and so, like, into that what they wear. They probably might, this person might wear a lot of designer or something like that. But it's like, they don't really care. They don't have a real personality. And I think that's why you don't like them. And I mean, everybody has personality, but I feel like to you, their personality is really bland. Yeah, this person also is asking psychics about you. They're trying to see how they can release this love. They also ask psychics about you. You also might be in the tarot readers. Maybe maybe you're in some type of spiritual like group or something like that. Where all you guys are like spiritually awakened or y'all like deal with spirituality and stuff like that. But I don't want to say they're doing spell work, but this person definitely has the potential to try. So I'm gonna get some abrasion, but I don't I don't see I don't see like evil intentions. I don't think they're thinking about doing spell work, but they probably go to um read watch tarot readings about you, or they probably go to psychics about you. Or they could just be thinking about you like a lot. And you know, sometimes if you think about something enough, it'll manifest if it's aligned with you. Yeah, it's like, it's like they're on, it's like they're so attached to you, but they don't even know you. And I, I think that you don't like them because I think what happened was y'all probably went on a date or something. They probably tried to sleep with, they either tried to sleep with you right away or they just came on way too strong. Like the first day and you was like, yo, chill. Like this is our first day. Why you, why you mad aggressive? So that's what made you stop dating them. Yeah, but now they're trying, like, again, they're, like, really flashy. Like, people don't really notice about them. Like, I feel like this was a type of connection where people were like, oh, why you stop dating such and such? Such and such was so nice. Such and such got money. Such and such dressed real nice. Or such, and such and such is such a beautiful girl. Why you stop dating such and such, right? Everybody's seeing that to you because they look really nice on the in on the outside. But on the inside, they really like this. They really this. And they really, like, soulless, like. You know what I'm saying? It's like they just like everyone else. They don't spark your interest. They don't have no, like, real, they don't know their purpose or anything like that. And they mad aggressive. Like, it's more, I think this is more, like, they have a crush on you. They do, but it's more, like, ego-based. Like, they feel like they can have whoever they want. 
and this is go for a male or a woman because even if it's a woman even if it's a, a a woman she can have a masculine energy and this is definitely like a masculine as well it's a good man or woman but whoever it is they just know that they i know you're gonna know who i'm talking about they like real flashy however they also try to get your attention like they try to like do all this like stuff to get your attention and sometimes it can be positive but some of you could be like just you know positive stuff like they always call or text in or try to bring you flowers or try to ask you on a date like every week and then for some of you guys it's negative like they try to make you jealous try to bring girls in front of you try to bring guys in front of you like try to act like they like flick it up on a gram or whatever or like i don't know they just be trying to like try to make you it's like they be trying to get your attention because they figure if, um, if they keep going long enough eventually you'll fall for their trap let's see what their intentions are what's power one's person intentions I feel really nonchalant because this person is really nonchalant. This person, even when they do get you, all they're going to do is play. So I think that's why you don't really want to deal with them because you know that's what they're about. And really, that's what I'm seeing. It, see, it seems like they just want they just want to add you to the list. They don't want to take a loss. They don't want to, if it's a male or a female, they just don't want to take a loss of not being able to get you because it's got, like, that's why I said when they was having a crush on you, like they do have a crush on you and they do like you. But now, since you like treating them while you're treating them, it's become more ego-based. Yeah, it's become a lot more ego-based. pretty much it for their intentions yeah they just coming to play they just coming to play with you they come up they like i said before they're a clown you know you probably know they're a clown for real for real like you probably know they're a clown and that's why you ain't about to be in their circus and you just another notch on a belt or you know whatever like another coin in a bag for ladies or whatever it is like they just want to because believe it or not like women do that Women have large egos too, so if they feel like they couldn't get the man and man that everybody wants, sometimes they'll go hard and try to get them just to say, oh, I'm that bitch, I can get any guy I want. Whatever. Let's see if the angels got some advice for you on this connection. I got to pre-record a couple days because I need a couple days to sleep. Oh, yeah, I do want to tell you guys, if you guys are interested in get a, a, getting a personal reading, I did make a website where you could purchase personal readings. They start at $9.99. I mean, they start at $11.11. I'm going to be posting something that's for $9.99 soon, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But, um, yeah. Your, um, your, but your angels want you to know to set boundaries and don't what don't waver from them boundaries. So even if you do, I like, get tired of this person, ask you all, you just be like, okay, I want some free food. Let me go ahead and go out with them. Remember your boundaries. And remember to remember to um remember your boundaries and remember not to sway from them boundaries. You know, don't sway from them boundaries. You have to, especially with people like this. What's up with my money, Candace? Why is it like lit like that? I don't know why Candace be doing this. Like it's like it won't all the way be on fire like I want to. It's like a little fire, a little flame. It's burning real slow. But, um, yeah, keep your such keep your attentions where they are. Like, don't lower your standards for this person. Don't don't turn your back on them and do not trust them because they are they are a big player of energy. And the situation was already dead, but they just trying to bring it back alive for their ego. They probably the type to like either get in your pants or get you to spend a whole bunch of money on them if you a guy or do something just to get back at you and probably leave you like ah oh, I got you like you were playing hard to get and I got you. So power one that is your reason. That's who has a question on you right now. That is who has a crush on you right now. If it resonated, please let me know. If um 
if you would like me to do a specific type of read, if y'all think I, if y'all have any paper card su suggestions, make make sure you leave the comment down below. Make sure you hit that post notification bell so you can be notified when I post another video. And subscribe to my channel and share this video with anyone you think it might help. With that being said, I'm going to move on to pile two. But before I say that, if you want to enter my giveaway, I'm going to I hit uh, 600 subscribers. And since we hit 600 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a free reading. If you want to participate in that free reading, all you have to do is leave an orange heart emoji in the comments, and I'll be choosing a winner tomorrow around seven o'clock okay pile two if you pick pile two you pick this um this black this cool black stone i don't know what this is hopefully somebody in the comments like yeah that's such and such stone i don't know or whatever okay thank you this person might have dreads this person probably wears, he probably wears jeans a lot. They like wearing jeans a lot. They probably wear a lot of hats. This person is cute though. I think this person is somebody that a lot of girls might like. It's definitely a masculine. It could be a feminine energy too. But I'm really getting the masculine with power too. And this is definitely a guy that females like. This is definitely a, a guy that females go after. And they know this. But I think this is a little bit different from power. This is a lot, well, this is a lot different from power one. This guy knows that that it's a lot of energies that I want this guy, but it's like he's 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 a one woman type of person. Like, you know, like people try to say like all guys are like cheaters, all guys are this, all guys are that. But I really think it's some guys in the world that's like they don't just rather have one person, especially ones that that um that are really, really um in their and like trying to be successful. Or very successful they don't really like to concentrate on all these women like honestly i don't feel like a lebron james has like a side bitch you get what i'm saying like i don't feel like people like that it's it's successful men who have side bitches and then there's successful men who really really focus and that's why lebron is one of the best in the game i feel like because he focuses you know he's not distracted doing all this extra shit like you know what I'm saying the most fun he has is probably taco tuesday that he's doing on his snapchat but like that's what i mean like he's he's focused and a lot of it's hard to be focused when you when you gotta focus on you and you gotta focus on other different people and then you gotta focus on your career then you gotta focus on like your kids it's a lot you know what i'm saying so i think the more successful men are the ones that focus on one woman and it's the type of person this is like he knows that he got a lot of people on him especially with this um with the snake back around his legs and like as, but the snakes is here but they're not paying he's not paying attention to them and it's even this person likes you i think some people know at least two people know that this person likes you and they don't like you because this person likes you this person is attractive he's probably slender tall i'm seeing a basketball he probably like to play i don't think he's a basketball player he could but but he likes to play basketball or plays basketball. His, in his free time, he might have played basketball in high school or like school. I think this person has like some type of designer belt they be wearing. Yeah, this person's a really hard worker. And they like you because you're a really hard worker. You guys might work together or work in the same field at least. Like if this person's an entrepreneur, they might have seen you at entrepreneur like stuff or like maybe in entrepreneur chat groups or they just, you know, you maybe follow the same type of entrepreneurs or something like that. Or you guys could work together and do something. Like if you guys work together, it's probably doing something with your hands or something like that. So, so somebody, this person is an architect. I heard architect. Somebody's a future architect. But yeah, this person likes you because they feel like they feel like um and this person is definitely like a fire sign. It got or got fire a lot, a lot of fire in her child, like a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. I heard I heard Aquarius for some people, or you could be Aquarius. But I do feel I do feel like this person really likes you because you're a hard worker and they're a hard worker and they feel like together y'all can make something great. Like together y'all could be like a power couple. So that's why that's the biggest like yeah you're cute they like the way you look but it's like you're more on their level type and it's like a lot of people come to them trying to leech off them and want them because of status some of you guys don't know this person yet but you want to in a little bit Yeah. 
this person's really in physical nice shape really nice hair i'm really thinking dress but either way even if they don't have dress they have nice hair but it's not a shortcut like it's probably like a curly top or like some type of hair on the top but it's not like a buzz cut or nothing or shape up yeah this person likes to make stuff like this person likes to make fine stuff this person wants to live a luxury lifestyle if they don't already they like living in luxury they like making stuff they like building stuff they're they definitely an entrepreneur or some type of hard worker or have some type of high level career like this is not somebody who works at mcdonald's no offense but this is like a person that's like you know has a, a, a high status job like an architect a doctor or something like that a lawyer or an entrepreneur or something of that nature they have patience though they have a lot of patience and they're, if they haven't come towards you already, they're going to come towards you, but they're going to come towards you solely with this fine wine. All I heard was fine wine. So they like the stuff to happen over time. So this is not a person that's going to rush in, but that is because they're very smart and they're very detailed in everything they do. Yeah, but they really like you a lot. They really are sexually attracted to you and they think you're so beautiful. They probably think about you at night. They're probably going to take you out on a date at night. I don't think you're going to end up sleeping with them, but they do fantasize about sleeping with them. But you come on, like if it's a man, like they come on like... You know, you know what men think about, but they really, they think like you just really do it for them. They think that having you with them or on their team can finally mean they can relax. Cause I feel like they probably date a lot of people and with them dating them people, they always have to be on their toes. Like they always have to be on their toes because people always try to use them or try always try to get over on them and stuff like that. But with you, they feel like this person can hold their own. This person, if they go out with me, they don't really need me. So it's like, I don't have to worry about them so much. Yeah, I like this person though. Yeah, this person definitely wants to build an empire with the emperor card. But they've been doing it by themselves. Hold on. They've been doing it by themselves for so long. They've been doing it by themselves for so long. They kind of want to buy on the other side of them. And they're just been building their empire. That's why I said somebody might be an architect or want to go to school for architecture or building something. They do something with their hands or something like that. But they definitely want to make a family. They definitely ready to have a family and then have kids. And, you know, but they need a partner to keep building this empire. Yeah. This person is woke too. Spiritually woke. This person has been hurt a lot in the past. I feel like the past is what's getting in between them. Like their past still haunts them and their past is what's getting in between y'all a little bit with these two like rats on the side of this thing. They kind of look like they want to come to each other, but like it's this ghost in the middle, but it's kind of in this tore up house and these broken down roses. It's like they've been hurt or been through so much. They don't know if they should come towards you because their past is still haunting you. But there, I think that I see them getting over that. But this is what this person looks like. Something like that. He likes something built like that. I really think he got dreads or something like that. A nice, some type of nice hair. They take care of themselves. They got a nice smile. I heard somebody say, yeah, I like their smile. They got pearly whites. They also have clean fingernails for a guy. Yeah, they're going to come get you tangled in their web. I love I don't like when the same cards come out, but... Yeah, they're going to get you tangled in their web. They're going to get you, like, you know, they're going to come towards you and you guys are going to be entangled. You guys, not entangled like in a bad way, but you guys are going to be infatuated. And that was their plan all along. This person is going to take you to a, this person is basically going to level you up. Like, not that you can't level yourself up, but look at this couple. This definitely looks like a power couple to me. Like, this person is, this person is trying to level you up, you know, dress you down, like, take you out on a town, everything like that. Like, so whatever, they're, because they're trying to build an empire, so you need a queen. And they can't have their queen looking, like, under status. Not to tell you to, but it's kind of like a, I don't want to say a Cinderella story, but it's kind of like, if you're mean or something, he's going to put you on something. You feel what I'm saying? If he's not on nothing, he can't put you on nothing, if that makes sense. Then we here we got the um we got this uh dragon right here. This is gonna make a lot of people jealous. It's one female female in particular, and she probably she gets her nails done red a lot. Like she gets some like this color red on my nails, and she gets some long. Let me tell y'all how I keep getting my nails done, and they keep chipping this the next day. Like I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I'm tired of spending thirty dollars for my nails to chip the next day. But this person got nails like this, like they get their nails really long part now, whatever that cone shape is, and they get it red to give you a clue when they talk about that but that person in particular is going to be jealous of this anything else we got two more 
Yeah, this one be a uh, this person also could be a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. It's a lot of fire in the chart. So I'm simple with the devil card. I do get Capricorn, but this person is really gonna be temptation. Like it's like you tempting them. It's like you tempting them so much. It's like it's like it's like they wanna dip in you so bad. Like come towards you. But again, with that ghost that I pulled out earlier, it's like something is um standing in between them. They probably again they're also spiritually woken. Oh, that's when you something else too, but hold on, I'm going to get to that. But yeah, with this, it's like they want to come towards you, but it's like their, their past is kind of like making them hesitant, but they will. Eventually, they're going to explode, and they're just going to be like, all right, I'm just going to text them, or all right, I'm just going to DM them, or all right, I'm just going to go up to them and ask them on a date, and everything's going to go from there. But let them do the work, okay? Um, This is telling me like they, have, they know they have a lot to offer, right? And they have a lot of options, but they're trying to choose the right option so they don't, they don't, you know, ruin their life. Because this person is very serious. This person is very serious. They know they have abundance. They know they have so much to let loose, you know, and they already have so much to offer. But they just can't give it to anyone. So they're reviewing options. They're reviewing options and they're trying to figure out which one is the best option. You can't take offense to that because some people like options. Like, how do you have options? When you listen with anyone who got, who, who going anywhere in life or got some type of life, life sta um, high status, leeches are going to attract to them because leeches are going to be like, okay, this could be my meal ticket. You get what I'm saying? So you can't like you can't take you can't you know blame them for that. But they're not they're not like power one. Like this is not a power where oh I have options. I'm trying to sleep with everyone. This is somebody who's like okay I got five apples, but I only want to eat one. I got five apples. I can't eat all the apples because I'm only my stomach can only take one. So what is the best apple? That's what kind of person that is. This is like what is the best apple for me? What is the apple that's gonna keep me healthy? What's the apple that's gonna keep me strong? What's the healthiest apple for me? That's this is the type of person. This is the type of person that you want. You don't want somebody who just come in fast because they think it's just what they did. Like, yes, this person is wildly attracted to you, but at the same time, they're very really, they care about themselves. Yeah, this person definitely wants a family. They definitely ready. They're definitely gonna want to have kids. Like after you know, guys start dating or whatever, they're gonna start thinking about. It. They might bring it up, but don't you know if you feel like you want to get married, don't don't be a scared to say I want to get married first or whatever. Because this person is married to material and they will marry you. Um. Notice your very color, physical, um, emotional feelings to signify divine God. Okay, so when this person does come in, if you feel like some type of way or something like that, don't forget to ask your angels or whatever. Don't forget to talk to your angels. If you don't have no ideas who how to, who this person is, but you feel like a certain sensation when you get around somebody or this certain or a certain person comes around you, that's probably who this person is. Because this person is, is not a person who said something to you yet. This is a person that's looking at you. They're admiring you from afar because they're trying to make sure before they come in that it's the best decision. Like this is not a game player. Okay, pal two. That was your reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know. Please leave a comment down below. Please um like this video and share it with anyone you might like you think it might help. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn my post notifications on so you can be notified every time I post another video. Also, I would like to say thank you guys so much for helping me reach 600 subscribers. And because of that, I'm going to be giving away a free reading. So if you're interested in a free reading, leave a orange heart emoji in the comments and I'll be choosing a winner tomorrow. The next free reading will be when we hit 650 subscribers. We're not that far off. We're at um, 632. So with that being said, make sure y'all subscribe so you don't miss another giveaway uh, video. You know, like how you can't beat a free reading. But I also have personal readings available. There's a link in my bio. To, so you can get a personal reading with me so you would just you know purchase that and then it will give you my email address and then you shoot me an email from there you know and i'll look up your proof of purchase with your email and then i'll go ahead and get started i'll send you a video link and you can choose to have a private or you can choose for me to put it on for everyone to see and just not tag you it just depends on how you want to do it but you'll have the link and i'll never take the link down so you come back and watch anytime you want but with that being said um, i'm going to go ahead and uh to the next reading pile number three hey pile three this is your reading my hands look so hard but i can't wait till they heal <sighs> this person thinks they're out of your league this person thinks they out of out of the, your league i don't want to say they too good for you but they're like they they're they're not too good for you, but they're they're more than what they appear to be. But they th they feel like they're out of your league. But if y'all two got together, it could make a happy home. Like this could be, this, I know that this, I know exactly the situation. This is a situation where you probably have somebody in mind, and you probably like, why don't this motherfucker talk? Why don't they talk to me? Like they always just walking past me. They don't never just talk to me. Like you know what I'm saying? Like 
or this could be a friend you have and you kind of want to date this friend and it's like a, it's like one of those guy friends that you always like flirt with and he's like mad awkward about it and you're like why he's so awkward don't he know he cute like don't she know she cute like you always flirt with them so like sometimes so at a certain point you probably just stop flirting with them because you was like maybe i'm making them uncomfortable or something like that but this person don't think they uh worthy of you they think they worthy of whatever friend zone that they put themselves in because this is you down here and this is them up there it's like they look they're so big you know what i'm saying but they feel like like they're small you know what I'm saying but they're not you know what I'm saying they feel like they're not and it's like you're trying to give them a sign to like go ahead like we can move forward with this but this is why I think this might be a male because most of the time females want males to take the lead and this is not a male that's going to take the lead so you should you should I think you should um not I don't want to say take the lead but like don't stop like insinuating let's use this term I have a question on three. Yeah, this person like looks at you and they're like, oh my god, like this person is so perfect. Like, I just wish I could have them. But it's like it's like you like them back, but then it's like don't know that you like them back. <laughs> I think you guys might be friends or something like that. Like they have so much to offer, but they feel like they don't have not much to offer, but they have so much to offer. See, because you see how these ghosts are all these presents in their hand, but it's like their face is still sad. Just like here, it's like their face is still sad. It's like inside, they don't have very high self-esteem. But this person probably got a good job. They probably got a banging body. They probably hot. They probably listen. They probably know how to dress. They probably, you know, know all the good restaurants. They're probably caring, compassionate, but they just feel like you, you want something else. Maybe this is a friend. They seen you date something in the past. I'm saying that it's somebody's guy friend or a friend of the family. And they probably seen you date a certain type. And since they're not that certain type, they think that you aren't good enough. So, yeah, they kind of remain closed off. They haven't opened that door with you. They haven't opened that door with you. They haven't tried to open that door with you. They feel like that's something they can't go through. Something. It's like, like not that they can't go through it. Like, if you would tell, like, if, if y'all were to get there. Like, they just feel like it's not a door that's for them. Like, they feel like the door's not open to them. So they just kind of like, it's like people are telling them like, go ahead and talk to her. Go ahead and talk to her. Go ahead and talk to her. Like, or go ahead and talk to him. Go ahead and talk to him. But this person's like, no, nah, no, nah, they're not going to like me. They're not going to like me or whatever. They're just being real negative. But like, you know, maybe that's, that's why I say maybe it's a friend of the family or y'all in a same friend group or something like that. But it's two people in particular, one tall and one short that's telling this person, go ahead and talk to such and such. Like talk, such and such will probably talk to you if you talk to them. Like, but if you don't talk to them, how are they going to know that you, um, that you like them? yeah it's like they feel like you get so many offers or you date a certain type they feel like whatever they got is enough like this little present is not enough they feel like you're gonna just walk right past it like you're gonna be like whatever i got all these options back here you get what i'm saying like and like what's up but like, I, I don't want your little present what i'm gonna do with that right and they they're so eager to give you this love but i think that you like them already because you're seeing her asking about them but they don't know that you like them some people need a little help i heard text them more yeah, some I think this is a friend of the family because I get this kind of think of someone's mother. So they probably know your mom or you know their mom or y'all been friends or y'all kind of grew up together. Or it's like an older lady telling them, like, go ahead and talk to you or whatever. And this older lady been holding this secret forever. <laughs> she's been holding this secret forever. Like, she's like, yo, go ahead and talk to her. Like, please. I'm tired of holding this fucking secret. Also, could be an ancestor, they're on their ancestors, but I'm saying it's like a person, like a 3D person. Who has a question? Yeah, they're scared. Maybe they see that's why I say maybe it's a friend of the family, or like maybe an ex's friend, or something like that. Yeah, but, but they've seen you in relationships before, and they never want to come in between those certain um, relationships. They always kind of been a friend, or been like the side nigga, or whatever, like your, your, your side guy that you don't really deal with, or like your food man, like oh, buy me food, like something like you know what girls show y'all know what I'm talking about. Like they always been like somebody in the background, they never but they watched you go through so many relationships. They seen that you not not that you went not some of you went through a lot, some of you just went through a few, but they watched you go on relationships to see that you was a uh, happy or wasn't treated fairly and they're, they're they've, they've always been there like this is not a new person but they feel like they've like man if i ever had the chance i would treat such and such right anything else i need some last cards so they've been thinking about it but every time they get every time they get the courage they change their mind anything else i need some advice anything else this 
spreading all the cords properly. This person gonna come towards you. They scared, but they're gonna end up coming towards you. Cause people want people gonna keep like every time people going it's, it's people fighting for this. It's them. It's, it could be people. It could be their ancestors. It could be their guardian angels. But it's people fighting for this, and they're gonna keep getting in their skin. Like talk to them, talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. That's when they. That's when they. Like they're gonna keep getting in their ass until they do. And then they're just gonna be like, all right, do you wanna go out for drinks tonight? Like they're gonna just talk to you, but they're gonna be so scared to do it. But they're gonna do it anyway. But it's like you're gonna be kind of like finally. Like I feel like everybody's gonna be like finally. <laughs> But this person does have a uh, self-esteem issue, so you want to be aware of that. Spirit said, if you try, if you do anything um, negative towards this person, it's going to backfire on you. So, even though I said they have insecurities, don't try to like manipulate them or nothing like that. You can't be a city girl with them. Um, and I know that sounds I said it so casually, but listen, that's what spirit be saying. I'll be trying to like make it so like we understand. Cause they don't be talk they don't talk like that. Like you know what I'm saying? They talk like how they talk. But um I'ma talk how we talk. But um yeah, overcoming differences. So this was a difficult for this is you got this was difficult for this person. So don't be gentle with this person, right? Don't be like I'm not saying make yourself easy, but like if they actually just go. Like don't be like, oh let me think about it. like just go. All right, like it's it was already was difficult if, you, if they ask you and you do all that they might not ask you again and you might want you might think oh i gotta make them like they're going to work for you they're going to like once they get comfortable they're going to take you on dates they're going to text you they're going to like try to get to know you but what they're not going to do is like put themselves on the line more than once so what's that time coming around just you know because even if it doesn't work out for whatever reason like just go ahead and take the first offer yeah, this person's been talking to a whole bunch of people. And when you do talk to them, give them it's okay to give them guidance and reassurance. You know what I'm saying? This person is like maybe a nerdy type, or this person just like, you know, just they get nervous around you. Like, even if they cool now, they'll probably grew up together and they was like nerds and shit when they when y'all was growing up and they still had that personality around you because you know who they really are. So it's okay to give them reassurance, like, okay, cool, like I like you. Like if you if they take y'all on a date, like let them know. Like I see somebody going to go to Top Golf, I see some restaurant, I see somebody wearing a nice dress, I see somebody wearing like a cranberry lipstick like a, a, a spanish girl wearing like a cranberry lipstick or whatever uh it's a, a guy he's wearing a white button up he has like uh curly curly hair it's black it's like kind of slick looking or whatever i see that i see like the curtains in there it's like a, a, a restaurant with nice curtains and stuff and like little brown tables and stuff but what i'm saying it's like a lot i wish i could just push it out my head but like what i'm saying is after you leave the date i see somebody walking out the door and i see somebody turning to someone saying I had a nice time. So go ahead and do that. When they take y'all on a date, let them know why I had a nice time or, I'll, or um, somebody's gonna watch the reading and they this had already, this already happened. But for some of you, it didn't happen yet. But if they take you on a date, it's okay to turn like, oh, I had a nice day. I can't wait to, to do this again sometime. Or like, oh, if they call you like, oh, thank you for calling. Hey, uh, I was wait, um, hey, nice hearing from you. Like, you know what I'm saying? When they call you, like, when you pick up, they, hey, nice hearing from you. How was your day? Boom. Like, they text you back, like, oh, hey, what's up? Like, I was just, uh, um, um, well, I'm, not, I'm trying to figure out how to not be so thirsty. Man, look it up on the internet. How not to be so thirsty, but still be recipro reciprocated. You know what I'm saying? So, so, reciprocate. I'm not saying be thirsty, but reciprocate. Okay, Pile Fade, I was your reading. If it resonated, please let me know. Please leave a comment down below. Please make sure you share the video with anyone might, you think you might like. Um, hit the post notification so you can be notified every time that I post a video. Subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I want to make an announcement. Thank you guys so much for helping me hit 600 followers, 600 subscribers. Hey, I can't believe I'm going this fast. I'm so excited. So, in honor of my 600 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a free pick a card reading. So, if you want to enter my free pick a card reading, give a well, not free pick a card reading. It's a free reading. What am I talking about? All you have to do is leave a orange um, heart emoji in the um, description in the uh, comments down below, and you will be. You know, I will select the winner tomorrow at seven o'clock. Now, my next. <laughs> My next pick, my next free pick a card reading would be, I mean, my next free reading giveaway would be when we hit 650. Right now we're at 332. So that's not that far off. So tell your other friends that like tarot readings, tell your other, you know, intuitive friends to subscribe to my channel and you can just keep entering because it's going to be like at least, at least, at least probably like eight more times that I'm going to be doing the free ones at 50. So that's eight more times that you can win. With that being said, I will see you guys later. Bye. 
Oh yeah, and you can also get a personal reading now. So if you're interested in a personal reading, you can also check you can check out my description box below and there's a link to my website. All you would do is purchase the type of reading that you want and then email me and I will get right back with you and then we'll discuss what I need from you to do your reading, which will probably just be a picture in your name. And um yeah, we can uh, move forward with that. With that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.